I know Enphase now offers an extended warranty option you can purchase directly from the manufacturer. So uh, really, it, it's just a, a, a fail safe uh, for someone going solar. With the net metering rule change, you, you touched on that. A lot more people are going to be thinking, but what are some of the things that you saw uh, on the sales side of the business and how did that help influence your approach to what you're doing now with Solar Insure? Sure. Uh All right, welcome to the Solar Surge podcast. On today's episode, we have another special guest for you, Dean Caravallotti from Solar Insure. And we're going to be learning all about solar warranties and how to get the best protection for your solar power system. So, Dean, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having uh, me, Joe. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So so tell us, you know, kind of from the beginning, for those that don't know you, maybe they're not familiar with your company. Um, first off, how did you get started in solar? And then how did you get connected with Solar Insure? So uh, I started in solar, got, I worked on a nonprofit uh, project in 2010. Um, I had gotten solar on my house previously to that in 2009. And then um, I got really deep into solar in 2015. I ended up selling over 700 systems to oh, wow. business and homeowners uh, in that time. And I brought that experience to Solar Insure um, and um, helped uh, hundreds of companies and thousands of professionals uh, be able to uh, help people transition to renewable energy. That's great. So you started in the industry as a sales professional? Yes. And Okay. And so what are some of the things that you saw, you know, this, this, this industry has been through a lot of ups and downs, as you know, but what are some of the things that you saw uh, on the sales side of the business and how did that help influence your approach to what you're doing now with Solar Insure? Sure. Uh Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website, or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information, or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. Uh, the after install service was always a second, um, like on the back burner. Uh, both the companies uh, that I used to work for are out of business now. And I still get calls from uh, those homeowners and I do help them find some service somewhere from, from a professional, but it's really, uh, they call in a panic and like, Hey, uh, so-and-so's company is out of business. Uh, how am I going to get my solar fixed? It's not working. And it really is uh, a bad feeling. Um, especially when I know, uh, I know that feeling too. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is actually a topic that keeps coming up today as, as we're talking to different folks here at the solar conference is that, you know, the failure rate on the contractor side is, is much, much higher. Uh, especially right now, we're going into a much tougher environment financially. You know, interest rates are going up. Um, I presume getting financing for new projects can be more difficult. And so, you know, solar contractors, I know that if, if their sales dip significantly or if they're, they're, you know, cash flow coming in dips significantly, that can put them on really, really shaky ground. And some of them, some of them don't pull out. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we've definitely seen that. And there's been kinks in the hose, so to speak, in that cash flow. And uh, so that's why we, we actually, as far as at Solar Insure, um, uh, our Agape and our, our CEO and founder, he had a great idea. He, as far as uh, we used to insure solar contractors in the beginning, starting in 2006, and really what he saw was uh, homeowners calling and asking for longer warranties and longer, um, and homeowner and even the contractors having wanted to have a longer warranty, and homeowners calling him, hey, my contractor's out of business. So he developed this product and. Really, it solves a huge problem in the industry where if someone goes solar and they include, they have the solar insurer warranty, they're covered for 30 years against manufacturer default coverage and if the contractor goes out of business. 
So uh, really, it, it's just a, a, a fail safe uh, for someone going solar. And I'd like to talk a little bit about why is warranty coverage specifically important when you're talking about solar and storage, not just solar? Because you're right, you know, that's one of the things I notice is that there's new batteries popping up all over the place. And, you know, we don't know exactly how are all these companies going to be here for the long term. In my personal opinion, half of them are not going to be here for the long term. Some are. Some are tried and proved, proven brands and companies that you know. Others are, are products that, that I'm just seeing for the first time. And uh, But with the net metering rule change, you, you touched on that, a lot more people are going to be thinking about storage now. A lot more installers are going to feel that they have to offer storage now because, you know, many installers – don't just choose not to do storage. It's, it's a whole nother category of technical training and logistics and just a whole nother category that many solar companies don't do. But now they realize if they don't get on board with this, they're going to be left behind. So from a warranty perspective, why is protection so important when you're talking solar and storage, not just solar? Yeah. So as far as uh, the average battery warranty is between five and 12 years. And um, most people are, are financing batteries combined into a 25 year loan, 20, 25 year loan with solar. And why would you want to pay for something that still that isn't working anymore? <laughs> that doesn't have a, right. a warranty for 15 years, right? So um, what happens is uh, with that warranty protection, 20 years on the battery, it, it includes the, the truck rolls, parts and labor and battery replacement. Um, after the manufacturer's warranty is over, and it, it's, it starts, you know, from day one if the manufacturer defaults. So it's very important uh, because I was just talking with a gentleman earlier, and the, the biggest asset that most homeowners have is their home. And the second biggest thing they might buy is solar with storage. Um, it's even more than a car, right? They would right. run a normal car. Could be so, double what the car costs. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, right now, the average solar system's about $40,000. Tack on another bat a battery, maybe another fifteen. dollars Twenty thousand dollars on top of that, and it's it depends on how much you want to store in, in to back up in your home too. So having that available um, is is that warranty is available so much more important nowadays, um, just because it is an emerging market, it is an emerging product, but it's a must have, and um, we feel like we're helping accelerate people to make the decision to have solar and storage with our warranty products because they're feeling confident and secure. The other reason why is if you're ever going to sell your home, um, most people move within five to seven years. Um, our warranty is fully transferable to anyone who buys a home unlimited times without expense. So as far as that, it's just another great feature of our warranty. And uh, I've had homeowners moving and they, they call us up and they um, say, hey, I'm not going to close escrow until I have a, a, a new uh, form with my, uh, the new homeowner's information on there. And then we'll close escrow because the, having such a, a robust warranty on any electronic on your home and especially solar batteries is so important. And it, it just increases your resellability and that, that transfer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, now Dean, I have to ask about this though, because you, you shared something with me the other day that really I think is, is a concern for folks that are considering maybe making this investment and there, there are some warranty scams out there. Can you share a little bit with, particularly for homeowners that are maybe, maybe they're in the process, they're getting different quotes, they're being approached by different contractors with these proposals. What are some scams or pitfalls that a potential homeowner needs to avoid when looking at how to protect their solar or storage system? Sure. So if you're going solar uh, with a, a certified solar insurance contractor, you're protected. Uh, if you ever want to verify that they are with us and that they are legitimately, legitimately a solar insurer certified installer, please contact our office or just go on a web chat at solarinsure.com and we can help you verify that. Uh, secondly, is there there's other um, ones that may fake being a solar insurer certified installer or not being certified. And what happens is um, you just got to be aware. So just check with our office. That could be your, your, your test. Just check with our office to make sure that they're with our company and that they are um, currently certified with us. The other thing is there's there's so many warranties out there that uh, contractors offer, and it may be even a, a great sounding warranty, 25 years, parts and labor. But 
Um, really, you, if you think about it, um, those warranties aren't really backed up by any reserves. It's just a verbal or written type of a warranty saying, uh, as long as we're in business, we'll take care of your, your system. But a lot of times, contractors, unfortunately, don't plan ahead for that rainy day when something does fail and there's an issue. Or if that manufacturer's out of business, then um, that part warranty has gone, right? Right. So, uh, being able to be with Solar Insure, uh, we have reserves. We have plenty of those to be able to take care of those things. We are fiscally responsible um, and have a fiduciary duty to do what we do. And uh, we're here for the long term and the long run to be able to help their, uh, your investment in solar. Yeah, yeah. Now, again, so, so important because most homeowners do not have that level of visibility into the contractor to say, okay, you've given me a 25 year warranty. Well, how much cash is in your warranty reserve account right now? And if the salesperson looks confused or says blah, 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 you know, you might think, well, maybe, maybe that warranty isn't as solid as, as they're representing it to be. Well, folks, again, this is Dean Caravellati, Chief Revenue Officer at Solar Insure. Uh, it's your third party warranty protection for your solar system equipment. Uh, and labor for up to 30 years, transferable. Um, we'll make sure that we get a link in, in the website if you'd like to go and learn more information about uh, solar insurance warranty specifically. Uh, we'll make sure that we get that link for you. Um, Dean, just want to say thanks again for joining us on the podcast. And uh, I wish you success with the rest of the rest of the trip here. Yeah, thank you very much, Joe. And if, if you want someone, a company to really take good care of you, connect with Solar Surge. Well, thanks for the endorsement. Hey, right now we are offering Solar Insure through our solar installation. So if you're one of the people out there watching that you're in the process of getting quotes and evaluating solar, uh, we do have the Solar Insure warranty currently available in Florida and Texas. Uh, we're working to get it online through our network in California and some of the other solar states. Uh, of course, if we can't help you directly with that, you can always go to solarinsure.com, I presume, right, to find out who the certified, who the certified providers are in your area. Yes, yeah, so we can help with that. Absolutely. Great. Well, folks, that does it for this episode of the podcast. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.